Hello my fellow degenerates, CookVos88 here, and welcome back to the only subreddit where you can find everything that is politically correct, but most of the time we encounter things that are just downright relatable. This is r slash Tumblr, let's get to it. The strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but the two personalities is a furry and a redditor. You know, I technically qualify as both of these. I'm a furry on YouTube and Twitter, and I have my own reddit account. The accuracy of this post is offensive and relatable. Perfect with Tumblr then! Minecraft music has a sadness to it. This cannot be denied. Minecraft music feels like knowing you can't go home because it's not there anymore. This is the second post I'm covering and I'm already getting an existential crisis from a game I've been playing for an entirety of two months. H how is that possible? Mystic Aquarium is also letting its animals visit each other during this time of great boredom. Get through a partner who looks at you like the sea lion looks at this tegu. With abject horror. <laughs> he looks absolutely horrified. And the lizard is just there menacingly sticking his tongue at the seal. He's like, I will fill your pool with cement. <laughs> Four beautiful loaves. Taken from r slash foxes. What's your obsession with bread, SMH? I wouldn't call it an obsession, I can just appreciate a good loaf once in a while. Yeah, once in a while, you just gotta sit back, relax, and watch the loaves of foxes laying down on the forest floor. It's a very enlightening experience, I suggest you do it. If you've never seen one before, deers are smaller than you think, raccoons are bigger than you think, bears are smaller than you think, but you were pretty close. Otters are bigger than you think. N no, even bigger than that. Wolves are bigger than you think. Wild cats are smaller than you think, but hopefully you'll never see one. Chipmunks are smaller than you think. So are mice, but you've seen a mouse, right? You were right about the size of moose. Mostly. Pigs are bigger than you think. Coyotes are that size. So are foxes. Whoops. Bears are bigger than you think, but only that one type. This is an informational post about mammals. If you know more, please do tell. Buffalo are bigger than you've ever imagined. You've never seen anything that big in your life, I promise. I support this post, except you have no idea how big moose are. Moose are fucked up big. Nothing will ever bear you for it. And there it is, just being a unit of an animal, Jesus Christ. And Rose Buncat here just says, What the frick? Yeah, I <laughs> I agree with you. Holy hell. Canada, what the hell is in your waters that can make your animals grow this big? Seriously, this is something you would ride into battle with. I, I can't stop looking at this thing. It it it's terrifying. It looks like an unrefined wendigo. Okay, I did some research and apparently moose aren't afraid of humans. And that's freaking appropriate, considering that they are pretty much the size of a, the size of a huge car. All right, nobody's answering my question. So, is Satan a furry? Like, with demons in general, they have lower half or at least the hooves of a goat. They have horns. But that leaves two questions. Has anybody made a deal with Satan while he was wearing his fursuit? Do you become a furry when you go to go to hell? My god, I hope so. If I end up being wrong about being an atheist, I would hope that Satan has a bear fur suit waiting for me when I get down there. Bob Ross would have loved Minecraft. It's your world, where you can do anything you want. You can put anything you want in it. You can put the happy little trees anywhere. This is the purest thing I've seen all day. Ah, uh, this is so wholesome. This post makes me happy. And hell yeah, he would have loved Minecraft. It's really? Especially in creative mode, the things he could have done with Minecraft, I can't even imagine. Orcs aren't really monsters to be honest. They're demi-humans. It's barely above wanting to do the naughties with cat girls. This is a hot take that could possibly lead to chaos in the already fragile monster loving community. <laughs> if I look at a mouth and instinctually know how to kiss it with my human mouth, it is not a monster. It is a variation of a person, probably with larger than average teeth. It isn't a monster until ha I have to strategize. Uh, that means Shrek is still human, and Amicus is technically a monster. 
this Ambigus still technically has a muzzle, so it's probably gonna be hard to kiss him in human form. Dear, except they are predators, and this thing is just mm, full of teeth. Imagine being drunk in the woods and coming across a deer thinking, oh thank god, nothing that can hurt me, just a scared little, oh holy crap. This thing is either an SCP or a result of Juno and Louis finally having a baby. I I'm, I'm willing to hope on the second one. Finishes eating a half a pound burger. Wow, that truly was the Minecraft of sex. I've been trying to read this for an hour with no luck. I don't know what this means either. Comparing it to Minecraft doesn't exactly help. But Cook, you, you play Minecraft, right? You should know this. No! No, I don't! Look at me! Does it look like I know what this means? Does it look like I have experience with naughty related things? No! No, I don't! David Tennant be like, Please, can I use my regular accent? Please, can I just be all oh, <laughs> David Tennant be like, Please, can I use my regular accent? Please, can I just be scorching this one? Show director. Sprays him with a hose. <laughs> I mean, he got what he wished for, right? And way back in 2017, he got to voice Scrooge McDuck in the uh, DuckTales reboot. The show's about to end, by the way, and um, I don't know how many episodes left, but um, I'm just sad to see it go. Norwegian forest cat chasing a fox. Look at these majestic idiots. I love that you can clearly tell from the expressions who is chasing who. Yo, that cat is chasing that fox like it owes him money. The cat is like, where's my money, Santiago? And the fox is like, oh, holy crap, please don't kill me. Hey guys, what the heck happened in the desert to make its animals look like that? Sand just makes animals break. See the Tibetan sand fox. Oh boy. <laughs> he looks like what everyone feels when they've been working in retail for far too long. Angry, dead inside, would prefer to die for real, and all of which is just wrapped up in a bag of loneliness, poverty, and sexual frustration. This guy in particular looks like he's done with the camera and he's like, if he takes another photo of me, I will stab him in his sleep. And that brings us to the end of r slash tumblr. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, support me on Coffee. My coffee link is in the description below. And don't forget to join the official Discord server for my channel. This has been your fellow degenerates, Cook Boss 88 and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. See ya!